What's going on guys, No Slack Novak here, and surprise, surprise, we are going to start off on a brand new Sim Airport series. What we're going to do, we are going to build our own airport from scratch one more time, and what I think we're going to do this time, a little bit of change of pace, we are going to start off with a, kind of like a small town, a little airport with only really like one gate, uh, we're going to have like one or two ticket desks, security is going to be very small. We're only going to be doing maybe like three flights a day out of our one gate and then as time goes by and as we get more money we'll uh, slowly expand to kind of uh, hopefully uh, make an airport that covers you know a good chunk of this map uh, but we do have 1.2 million dollars so let's go ahead and get started on spending some of that I do want to eliminate all of these zones here and we're just going to kind of move them a little bit uh, just for the start of the uh, just for the start of the series um, we're gonna make it to where uh, our delivery zone is gonna be somewhat large uh, Because we are gonna be doing a lot of like foundation building and uh, we're gonna be building runways and adding in a lot of ticketing desks and gate agent desks and all that kind of stuff toilets floor tiles, etc So we are, we are gonna want a deliveries section that's gonna be able to handle all of that now We still have to have the drop-offs uh, for now um, We'll do the pickups for now as well and those will both be very little zones because we're probably not going to be using them too much here uh, in this first episode. And we need one more thing, garbage. Let's go ahead and put down a little bit of a garbage zone. And let's get started with building. Um, what I think we're going to do, we're going to kind of orient our map to where we're going to start down here and we're going to build up. And we're gonna be able to do something like you know if we build start building over here uh, This will then be kind of like our little drive-in area where everybody's gonna be able to do whatever they need to do uh, As in pick up garbage drop off passengers pick up passengers And then they'll be able to kind of do like a little u-turn and then go back out on this main road And then this road really here is not gonna be used too much That's all just gonna be like the side of our airport like the western uh, wall of our airport so like I said, we're going to uh, start off a little slow. Um, let's go ahead and build the foundation. Now I want to kind of keep this a little bit uh, further off of the road. So maybe let's do something like... Let's just do something like this. Well, like I said, we're going to start off kind of small. Let's do maybe 10 by 10. And then we're going to hire just a couple of workers, maybe two or three workers. Uh, we'll do three. And then uh, those guys will be able to start building our foundation over there. And then uh, obviously we're going to have to have like a, a fenced in area too. Uh, to kind of provide secure uh, secure area for our gates and all of that good stuff. But that's something we're going to kind of save for a little bit later. Not going to waste too much uh, money on that right now. There we go, deliveries are coming in, workers are going to be building the walls, building the floors, all that good stuff. Now it's been a while since I've played this, so they have added in a few things. I know if you guys watched the last Sim Airport video I did, it was about a week ago, episode 17 of the last series, it kind of showed off the newest things that are in there. I'll kind of run over that real quick. Uh, they changed a little bit of the, uh, the categories over here, made it a little bit more structured so that you can actually go into, you know, certain specific areas. Uh, let's start with the decor. They added a few fountains, which actually, um, I think they ended up making them indoors and outdoors on the testing branch. As of right now, I'm just playing on the regular old alpha version, so they're still just indoors. Uh, we do have a bunch of kiosks here, health, uh, uh, dessert, and we have the snack kiosks, coffee kiosks, bar, so we'll be able to make a little bit of a food court there. Uh, they did add in a bunch of different runways as well, and let's actually slow down here. I want to focus more on the building than uh, explaining on what's new. So we've got that. That is going to be like our ticketing area right there. And let's see here. That's going to be our ticketing area. How are we going to do this? Um, clearly we're going to have them go over to security, which I think security is going to run, oh, I don't know, something like, we'll do, we'll do two. So maybe I'll want to make that like five squares. So one, one, two, three, four, five, and do something like that. Let's do something like that. I, I don't want to waste too much money again, guys. Just you know, keep that in mind. 
Uh, we're going to start off very, very, very conservative and very small. Uh, we are going to have to add in some uh, doors, operations. Uh, let's see, if we do the large sliding door, that I think will work beautifully right there. Right square in the middle. That's going to be our security area. That means we're going to have the ticketing desks right here. And then I'm not quite sure what we're going to do as far as the uh, baggage claim. If we're actually going to um, have like the baggage claim set up with the, the new, what is it, the new uh, baggage hubs. Because those are a little bit of a pain in the butt, just figuring them out. Uh, that is something that we're obviously going to add in in future episodes. Just not quite sure if we're actually going to add it in in this one. I think we're just going to stick with the... Uh, the staff actually going around and like golf carting the luggage. Um, let's see, so we're on 10 speed. We're going to slow down just a little bit here. Let's go into foundation clear demolish. Let's clear out this wall over here. And then once they uh, go through security right here, which I actually wanted that maybe a little bit larger. Um, let's do one more square of foundation right there. And then we're also going to clear out this area then. They're going to go grab the stuff that's getting delivered. This is going to be our security area. Actually, one, two, three. Pretty sure I did five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I guess I wanted five. I guess I wanted six, really. So let's do this. Let's do one more. And then we're going to clear out this right here. And then that will be correct. That's how we're going to want that. And then we're also going to have to clear this out. Uh, because this is going to lead to like our terminal area over here. Now I think we're going to do... Let's see, how are we going to start this off? Again, we're just going to do like the one gate. So it's not going to be anything all that crazy. Mm. Okay, let's see. Why don't we do something like, we'll, we'll extend up here just a little bit more. Uh, again, this is going to be like our security area. We'll extend out just a little bit more and then we could maybe do something like... Like this maybe? I don't know. Hmm. Let's see, let's plan this right. Just because we're doing it small doesn't mean we can't do it right. This is going to be security. They're going to come up there. <laughs> They're going to go through the gate agent desks over here, through the bag scanners, the metal detectors. And then maybe we should do something like... Let's do something like this. And let's see, that's going to be 10, 11, 12, 13, so let's do, well, I don't know, let's do something like that. And that should work for us. Uh, we're going to clear this wall over here, we're going to clear, clear that wall right there as well. And we're down to a million bucks, and we still need to put in a lot of things. Uh, we're going to need to do the ticketing desks, we're going to need to put bathrooms up there too. I think I'm going to do that over here in kind of like the, uh, the terminal area, the actual waiting area. Let's go ahead and put in the um, stuff we're going to need for actual security. Let's see here. Gate agent desks, no ID check stands, that's what we're going to need over here. So let's do one, two, then that is going to lead them to the bag scanners, which uh, I'm so glad that they actually added in those arrows now. So we'll be able to put bag scanners over here, and let's go ahead and put the two, two metal detectors. Mm. Let's see, one, two, okay, we'll do there, and we'll do there. Not a huge fan of how offset they are compared to the bag scanners, but oh well, nothing we can really do about that. Uh, we will make that the security area though. So we'll do something like this. And then uh, it says it's not a security zone. Well, actually it is a security zone, but it's not going to be secured yet. 
Actually, I guess that does work. No, it's not going to work because once we put in the actual uh, the the gate, it is uh, it's going to say that it's not secured because people can come over here and then walk onto the tarmac and all that stuff. So we are going to have to build the wall eventually, which you know not a huge deal. Uh, let's go down here and let's see what kind of. Mm, here we go. Uh, large. I don't think we're gonna go. They don't have the small gate, which that's fine. We're gonna go with the large. Oh, that's bigger than I remembered. All right. Let's see. Oh yeah, I forgot about this too. The fact that you have to have it like a certain in a certain spot, which I, I still think that this is pretty silly that they have like restrictions on where you can put some of this stuff. Um, so what we're gonna do? I guess we don't really have a choice. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put that down. Hmm, I guess maybe we could put it down over here. You know what? Let's try that. Let's put that down right there. Yeah, we'll put that right there. And then we're actually going to uh, clear out. Oh, no, 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 no. Hold on. Hold on. Cancel, 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 cancel. We can't do that. That wouldn't be right. Um, so let's go back and we're pretty much going to be forced to put that right there uh, just because if we put it right here as you can see the uh, the little gray box down in the lower left um, that means that's where they're going to be having the board and that is currently kind of like right over our security area so we have to put that right there can't really do too much about that so again let's go over to build let's go ahead and clear out this wall right here and I think we're just going to extend that wall just a little bit more and then clearly we're going to have to extend this as well. Uh, so foundation. We will do something like that. And then bring that down over here. And we're now down to just below 900,000 uh, bucks. That is not in a secure area. There's no taxiways. There's no uh, door to the terminal. All that stuff. Bunch of problems. We will address those here shortly. Maybe we could have extended security then too. Well, you know what, we probably can. We'll just go ahead and extend this wall eventually and then we can go ahead and add in a, uh, a third uh, ID check stand, bag scanner, and metal detector. But that's gonna, that's gonna be a little ways away. That's not something that we need to do right now. Workers are gonna be doing that. We're going to need to add in the taxiway, which let's see, floors, that is not gonna be flooring, I don't believe. Uh, operations here, maybe. No structures. I don't see taxiway. I see runways, which is what we need. What's this? Uh, oh yeah, that's the light rail. So that's the new uh, train station. Now let's see. Uh, air, air traffic control tower, large hangar, runway. Uh, I need a taxiway. Where oh where is the taxiway operations? I would think that it'd be over here. Hmm. Let's see if we can find it over here in the all. Where is the taxiway, guys? Is that something new to where the taxiway just happens to happen or something? Huh. Interesting. All right. Well, let's let's try to work uh, without the taxiway then, I guess. Uh, structures. Let's do uh, runway medium. I think that's what we're gonna do. So this is used for um, flight operations such as takeoff landing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Must be connected to taxiway on both sides. Right, so where's the taxiway? We don't have to research that, do we? Pretty sure we don't. Uh, let's go ahead and research finance. That's something that we're gonna need to unlock just so that we can mess with the pricing later on. You know what I am, is it utilities? Guys, where the heck is the taxiway? That's kind of interesting to me. Like, I, I'm a little shocked that um, that we're not seeing it anywhere. Let's double check this entire area over here. So, urinals, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ticketing, kiosks, sliding doors. It would be alphabetical, right? So it would be taxiway. Uh, so clearly it's not over there. Uh, runway, small, prep cart. No, 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 no. Is it under flooring? Objects, build, roads. There we go. Taxiway. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so we're going to have the taxiway right there. 
And then I think what we're going to do, since it's just going to be this uh, little um, zone right there, we'll do something like that. And then let's go ahead and go back over here. We're going to go to, is it under structures? We're going to go do the medium runway. Oh, wow, that's huge. That's a medium runway? There's no way that's a medium. What about the large runway? How does that look? Jeez, how do we even fit that on there? Okay, you know what? We're going to have to stick with the small runway, guys, for now. So we'll do a runway right there. And again, guys, remember, this is just temporary. We are going to make a much, much, much larger airport uh, in the future. Uh, so this is just going to kind of hold us over here for a little while. You know what? I'm actually thinking cancel project. What if we did... What if we rotated it like so? And then we'd actually kind of be able to maybe do... Uh, let's see. If we did something like that, I think that would be a little bit more efficient just for now. Until we... Uh, yeah, let's do that. We'll do that right there. Uh, let's come over here. Let's do taxiway. Nope, can't find it. Okay. Build roads taxiway. We'll just do it this way. And then hopefully that works for us. Speed up time a little bit. Let's hire a few more workers too. And then we are going to need to put a place for an actual office, which, you know what, that's something that we might just be able to do like over here down in this area. Um, so let's actually just build this foundation a little bit more. And then I'm thinking we could put the office over here. And then we'll put some restrooms over there. And then we're going to have to clear this out too. And let's also put a wall. Uh, foundation, let's do that. Nope, that didn't work. Alright, where's the walls? Where are the walls? There we go. We're going to put a wall right there just to make that look a little bit prettier. And we should be good. Did we hire a few more staff? I don't remember if we did. We did. We hired two more. We've got a lot of building to do here with the, uh, the taxiway, the runway, and then um, uh, with the expanding of the foundation over here and all that stuff. I think this is going to be nice. Um, it is going to start off slow. We're probably just going to have to extend our terminal to the north and then add in like maybe one or two more uh, gates eventually. And then once we start making some good money, we'll be able to do a lot of uh, demolishing. We'll close our airport for a few days and then we'll actually start working on like a much grander scale. Taxiway is almost done. The runway is complete. And then uh, I think we're going to have to upgrade. But you know what? I'm going to hold off on that just because I want to make sure that we have the money uh, for other things before we start upgrading like the uh, the nighttime lights and all that good stuff. Let's go ahead and clear this area out. And uh, the pricing is going to be super important just because it is going to allow us to charge three or four times uh, what we're currently going to be getting from our uh, from our airlines and from uh, like our per passenger fees. So that's going to be huge. It's going to allow us to make money a lot faster. That is 69% uh, researched. Let's go ahead and build an office over here in this corner. And again, it doesn't have to be a huge office. So I think we're just do something like a... Uh, let's give them a 3x3 like a three three office. And then we'll give them a door. And this is just going to be for like the CFO, right? The Chief Financial Officer. Uh, we'll do the door over here. We'll give them the... They need an office desk and a chair. Which is the operations. Should be there. Office desk. Yep. Zoom in here a little bit. Make sure that we make this nice and pretty. Bam. And bam. Should be good there. We'll go ahead and we'll zone that as an office. That should get constructed here in the next few seconds. Security zone is fine. This is going to be our terminal for now. Uh, let's go ahead. Uh, let's see, where are we at with the research? 80%. Okay. Let's go ahead and actually build the... And I do kind of want to do the uh, the, like the, uh, the food court type area. Uh, of course, we're not going to you know install every single option that there is. I think we'll just do one or two. And we'll probably do like a little ATM area over here and all that good stuff too. Um, so let's see. We want restrooms. Let's go ahead and put those in over here. And then I think we're going to do, 
we're going to put the restrooms over here. They don't need to be too large. We'll do maybe just something like, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Wall, one, two, three, four, five. So let's see, five, four, five, bam, wall right there. Uh, we'll do a men's and a women's, right? Because we that's something that we need now. It has to be separated. You can't have men and women going into the same restroom, which I really love the fact that they actually changed that up. Uh, so we'll have doors right there, right towards the middle. Um, and then the male, uh, men can have urinals. Uh, satisfies male passengers' bladder needs. And then the toilet still satisfies both, which makes perfect sense, right? So I think we're going to make the top one here female. Let's go ahead and we're going to give them... And we're not going to do this to where we're going to like separate it with stalls and all that kind of junk. Just because that does kind of waste resources. Uh, so we'll do the toilet. Oh, nope, cancel that. We're going to cancel. We're going to do the toilets up here. We will then do the sinks down here. Which, uh, let's go ahead and put in the toilets. We'll do like three toilets and then we'll do two urinals. Um, let's do the sinks next. Rotate those bad guys, put those right there. All this is going to cost us a pretty penny. Uh, as you can see, we are under $600,000 now. Uh, we are going to want to put in a few of the uh, the garbage bins. Uh, it is the restroom, right? We want to try to keep this clean for our passengers. And then I think we're going to be good. I think that's going to be solid looking. Maybe we'll do uh, a few more garbage bins over here somewhere. Like we'll throw in one right there. And then let's go ahead and work on the ticketing. Um, ticketing desks are going to be down here. Uh, we are going to do, we need to rotate these guys this way. So we'll do one, two, you know what, let's do two for now. I don't think we'll really need more than two. Which should be fine. And then we'll do uh, one or two of the electronic ticketing kiosks. So we'll do those guys over here. Uh, let's go ahead and do one and two should we do it right there maybe we should actually move that maybe we should put that move for now we could put it up here and then you know what maybe in the future we'll probably move them over here or you know maybe we'll wait till um maybe we'll wait to actually do like a large expansion to actually start like thinking of where we're gonna move this stuff so that's gonna work beautifully right there uh we could probably do an info display as well because they're going to want the information right as they walk up to their um, to the ticketing area right I think that makes sense flight info display and I wonder if there's still like a little bit of a bug on that because I know sometimes they would if we put it like right here along the wall see uh, okay they changed it I remember now uh, so this is red which means that really this left side is the front so if you rotate it that way uh, it is now um, it is now oh wait they didn't change it for north south though uh, they st it applies still over here on like the east west it's like the west right now see the the west side is the uh, the actual front so if you rotate it twice um, it is now facing like the east so you know what let's do let's maybe do an info display over here somewhere right before they go into uh, security and then we could probably do another one right here in between the electronic ticketing kiosks. And I think that, you know what, that's going to probably satisfy what we need to do. Uh, let's check our research. Finance is 96% done. They'll come over here. Let's go ahead and label that ticketing. And we can do that over here too. They're going to go through ticketing. They're going to go through security. This is going to be the restrooms. Let's go ahead and label that. Uh, we're going to do mail restroom over here because it has the urinals. And then we'll do female restrooms up here, up top, closer to the actual gate. And then I'm thinking we'll probably do like a little bit of a seating slash food court area over here. Maybe we'll do like the seating area right there. And then we'll do like one or two food uh, kiosks up here. Uh, kind of like facing the seating area. And that'll kind of, you know, let's just play along. They're going to be sitting over here in the benches, bored, waiting for their flights. They're going to be able to look over here, see, hey, that guy just bought a donut, or hey, that guy just bought a salad. Let's go get some food. And, you know, hey, we'll make a little extra cash that way. That being said, let's go ahead and add in the door that we're going to need for our actual uh, gate. 
Uh, so we're gonna need what structures no seating no retail operations uh, so large Yeah, let's go with the large door right there And then uh, we're not gonna be getting the huge airplane So I'm not quite sure if we're actually gonna need two of the gate agent desks or if we'll be able to get away with just the one I think we're gonna try to get away with just the one for now just save a little bit of money we do still have close to six hundred thousand dollars left but you know what I think we're gonna just kind of go cheap for now so we'll do the gate agent desk we'll put them right here right smack dab in front of the uh, the door right in the middle uh, we're gonna obviously have to do the uh, the queue for them right that's something that we can kind of do towards up here towards the north plenty of room to do that now we do kind of need to work on our actual operations over here we're gonna need a, uh, a hangar which I'm thinking we'll have to do the, the medium uh, so let's do the yep medium hanger right there we'll be able to fit that in right there beautifully though which is something that I think we're gonna do and then I, I really would like to get a baggage claim area in let's because mm, I really don't want to leave the uh, the baggage handling to the staff members with the go-karts it just seems to take way too long and uh, you know I'm not too familiar with the small airports I'm sure a lot of them do actually have it to where they you know the, the baggage gets delivered uh, via golf cart or some you know like a van or something from from every plane that lands but um, I don't think that's something I really want to do but then setting up the uh, the conveyor system and all that that does take quite a bit of time hmm decisions decisions let's hold off on that you know what we're gonna wait we are going to we need to build the, uh, the, the fence the outer fence let's go ahead and do that uh, objects uh, is that operations kind of have to uh, familiarize myself with how all these things are set up now structures maybe no comfort definitely not retail no decor no all let's search fence nope nothing there uh, is it, it's not under utilities right no oh you know what? I'm sure it's gonna be under build um, let's see tools maybe yep there it is fence a chain link wall that can be used to secure areas of your airport okay so we're gonna do that we're gonna have to do that over here so for now let's go ahead and build a fence right there and then we're also going to build the fence I'm thinking probably just up here for now yeah for now we're just gonna do that and that's gonna cost wow how much is that gonna cost us can't see that all that well 11,250 yep 11,250 bucks for a little bit of chain link fence all right let's go ahead and speed up time have our construction workers go ahead and start working on that And then that should uh, be like the finishing touch to actually securing um, our zone over here. And then, of course, we're going to have to assign this gate agent desk to the gate over here. Uh, we'll have to do the uh, the queue as well. And then over here, uh, we're fine here. I don't think we need to assign anything. We'll do the queue. And once we do the queue, you know what? We'll try to get away with the queue just because sometimes the queue is kind of ugly. And I don't want to really mess with that too much. Uh, we do have asphalt here we can go ahead and sell that sell that a little bit of steel here got us some nice cash back we can sell some of this too. toilet for 125 bucks what do we have here ticketing kiosks for 950 why do we have that um, maybe it's because we canceled it yeah I'm sure that's why all right maybe we should put down some flooring we do have the money we can make this place a little bit nicer uh, maybe we can do a little bit of windows too actually um, let's do that you know what let's let's install windows right there and then we can actually install windows like right here and then um, typically you see windows right by the actual gate as well right so let's go ahead and do that let's install windows along there that way they can see uh, onto the actual gate area and then we can install windows over here and this is a little bit of waste but look at that it's only 1350 we can definitely afford that without a doubt we can afford that uh, let's go ahead and do a little bit of a seating area too and you know it's 5 a.m. I think 
Everything is secured, right? Yes, everything is secured. We can actually start bringing in uh, contracts. Um, before we do that, though, let's slow down time a little bit, make sure we have everything that we need. Uh, we can hire the CFO. We can go ahead and start researching the pricing. That's something that we're going to really want to do as soon as possible. Let's go ahead and hire one janitor, just for now, one janitor. And then we're going to need staff, right? So let's we're going to have to have a staff member behind each one of those ticketing. Uh, desks. We're going to have to have a staff member behind the gate and then we're going to have to have another staff member doing the uh, transportation of the luggage which I'm thinking will probably, you know what, let's go ahead and hire one more because that's probably going to be like a two-person job. And then we need security. We need uh, one security for each of our ID check stands. So that's going to be two right there. We need two e or one each for the bag scanners. So that's two more. And then we'll need one each for the metal detector. So all together, we're going to go ahead and we're going to have six security. That's going to cost us, again, a pretty penny. But you know what? We should be all right. Research is at 2%. That's going to take a little bit of time. Not too concerned with that, though. And then I'm thinking, uh, let's go ahead and actually, you know what? Let's upgrade our runway because I do want to have nighttime flights. So we can do the runway lights. Let's go ahead and rotate that. Oh, what the heck is this? Why is it so small? Uh, runway ILS, what does that do? I forget. Instrument landing system allows larger airliners. We don't really have to worry about that right now. It'll also help you track the big boy airlines. We will wait on that. Uh, the runway Pappy lights. Um, <laughs> this was a huge discussion. For those of you that have been with the channel for quite some time, this was a big discussion. We're going to go ahead. We're going to put those down. Uh, I think we're going to do that, you know, let's do that on this side. We'll do the Pappy lights right there, and then we'll go ahead and we'll put another set on the other side. Mm. We'll put those guys right here, make sure that they're facing the right way. They are. Bam, that's good right there. Realism, that's what we're going for here, a little bit. Uh, okay, so again, runway lights. Night operations at your airport. I wonder, so I'm used to just this covering the entire freaking uh, runway. I'm a little curious as to how does this work now? Do we have to build it across the entire thing? I mean, can we just like, now let's, let's check something out. So let's go over here. Let's try to attract some airlines. So this uh, aero time here, they have three nighttime flights. We can't accept it because we don't have the runway upgraded to lights. So let's actually put in just the one set of lights. And we will do, I think you have to have the cross on the bottom. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's hope that they build this as soon as possible, which it looks like they're coming to do right now with the pappies and then with the uh, the runway lights down here. Pappy lights getting installed up there. All right, I'm guessing they're installing the lights right here. So it looks like we have the uh, the runway lights up there and it kind of looks like it added them up here too. Hmm. Well, let's check. Nice. Yes, yeah, so we can actually bring in the nighttime flights. Beautiful. All right. I want to get uh, nothing too crazy. Let's see. Boeing 707. Okay, we don't have any of that. The Boeing 737, 140 passengers. So we can do one of those nighttime. Uh, we could also do that's another 737 nighttime. So let's go ahead and we'll accept this one here. And then let's see. For the morning, the Embraer 195. That's going to be only 90 passengers. Uh, I'd like a little bit more than that. And then the uh, okay CRJ, you know what? So we have one night time. Let's try to get a morning one. 707, we can't accept that. Why not? Requires a suitable runway. Okay, so that's probably just too large. So we can't actually accept anything with a Ford Air. Uh, Pacific here, we can do the Airbus. That's going to be 150. Let's go ahead and do that one. So now we have a morning and a night time. Let's try to do an afternoon. Uh, we could do a Boeing 737 again, which 140 passengers. Let's go ahead and do that. And then, uh, so we have three scheduled uh, flights. This is the uh, night time. Let's actually make this a little bit larger so it's a little bit easier to manage. 
All right, so the arrow time needs to be at night. We'll put that right there. Move that over a little bit too. And then the Pacific one is the morning one. We'll put that first thing at 4 a.m. And then the arrow star can be in the noon. So I'm thinking we could do one more morning. We could definitely do one more morning. And then we might be able to squeeze in another nighttime flight too. You know what? Let's do let's do one more morning. Let's try to find that. Uh, afford air again. We can't uh, do anything with them. Aerostar morning seven 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 and Brayer one nine five, which is going to be a ninety passengers. Let's go ahead and do that one. And then you know what? Just to be a little safe, let's actually have this one uh, be the first one, just because it's the smaller flight. We can get that out of the way much quicker. And so we'll do something like this. And then I'm thinking, let's go ahead and bump you back half an hour, just because this is larger. Uh, this is the smaller flight. We can have a little bit less time in between. Should be good there. I think we're looking all right. I think we're doing a okay. We'll actually start working. We have five hundred and ten thousand dollars. Let's go ahead and start working on building the flooring. Uh, make this airport look a little bit nice. Uh, let's see carpet. We can do the carpet. Um, carpet is realistic in the terminal area, right? Like the seating area. Let's do that first, actually. We'll do the objects, we'll do seating, and I really like the fact that they added in, the, you know, they, they look the same here. Um, but I'm thinking, since we're like a small, cheap airport, I'm thinking we'll just go with the benches. Uh, just for now, we could do something like, let's see. Bam. Hmm. Let's see, let's see. We could do right there there back to back right there and then I think that's gonna be good I think that's gonna be enough let's go ahead and put in like an ATM and like a vending machine or something over here too so let's see ATM we'll do over here in the corner kind of give them a little bit of privacy and then we'll do like a vending machine um, what is it electronics vending we could do we could do food vending um, let's go ahead and put the food vending over here let's see is there a better spot for it We'll do the food vending over here by the restroom. Well, let's do that and then maybe do an electronics vending machine next to that. And then we're going to want another flight info display too, I think. Let's go ahead and put that guy. Oh, let's put it right there. You know what? Let's put it over here. Now, which way do we want it facing? Okay, we want it facing that way. That's going to provide the flight information that we're going to need. Maybe we could do another one over here. Let's make sure it's facing the correct way. Uh, so that is going to be... Okay. Let's do... You know what? Let's do that. And then that we're going to want to rotate. Um, yeah. So that the front is facing that way. So we're looking good there. Let's go ahead and do another garbage bin too. Uh, next to the sitting area. So we'll do the garbage bin over here. And then let's go ahead and put a little bit of decoration down. Not too much. We don't want to get crazy. Uh, plant one indoors. Let's go ahead and put you here. You know, let's just do something like that. That should be good enough. And we do have our actual first passengers coming in, so let's slow down time and make sure that we're actually being able to service all these guys. Um, so everybody looks well. I mean, we didn't get to notice it, but they went through ticketing just fine. It appears. Now they're going through security. That's oh, you know what? Well, I could have swore we put these in the correct way. I guess we didn't. Let's go ahead and dismantle those and put them in the actual correct way. Okay, good. Dismantle, dismantled. Bag scanners. I could have swore we did that the correct way. Why is it... Why are they not able to face the correct freaking way? We need the arrow pointing up. That's ridiculous. Come on, man. Why can they not face freaking north and south the way we want them to? Hmm. Interesting. Alright. Uh, that's pretty silly. But, uh, I mean, nothing we can really do about that right now. That's really odd. That's really, really odd. Hmm. Alright, whatever. Bags? <laughs> um, 
We don't. Okay, we still need a baggage claim area, even though we don't. God damn it! Even though we don't have. Um, okay, that makes sense. Ah, oh boy, that makes sense. Hmm. We don't have the, uh, the baggage carousel, but even though we don't have a baggage carousel, we still need to put down a baggage claim area so that they can actually uh, pick up and drop off their baggage. Because right now, they're they're taking it and they're delivering it to the airport, or to the airplane. <laughs> See that little go-kart there? But um, they are not able to drop it off anywhere because we don't have the ba baggage claim area. So I'm thinking maybe we should put that down here. You know what, let's do this. We're going to go cheap. We're going to do a uh, baggage claim, and we're going to do that right, right there in front of his office. And then hopefully these guys are going to bring the, uh, the luggage from the next flight in and put that over there. Uh, let's check this out. What's going on here? 53 out of 53 boarded. Scheduled departure at 6 a.m., so it's going to depart here in 30 minutes. I'm a little surprised that it's not departing now, given the fact that it's actually full. And I'm really upset. Like, why the hell are we not able to rotate the freaking bag scanners to where the arrow is pointing upwards? That's pretty ridiculous. Not quite sure what the deal is there. But you know what? I think that's going to wrap up the uh, the episode, guys. Episode 1 of our new Sim Airport series is in the books. And you know what? I think I'm going to message the developers and see what the hell's going on with the, uh, the bag scanners. Um, yeah, I'll let you guys know. Hopefully in the second episode, I'll let you guys know. I might just record the second episode right after this, though. But, um, yeah, if you guys liked this uh, video, do me a favor, hit that like button. Let me know that you want to see more Sim Airport videos on the channel. Uh, if you guys haven't subscribed already, please do me the favor and subscribe to the channel. It would really mean a lot. We've grown a ton. I want to say in the last six months, we've gone from, oh, about 200 subscribers to 13,400. So you guys have been absolutely awesome. I appreciate the, uh, the love that you guys are showing me. And I'm just kind of trying to stall just to see if uh, maybe the new plane... Okay, why hasn't that departed yet? That's... Um, break? Deadlock? Yeah, why the hell didn't that uh, depart? Kind of strange. When is the new flight coming in? See, so I guess we missed the 8 o'clock flight. Let's, uh, let's double check. It got cancelled. Failed to reserve gate. Why the hell didn't the first one leave? Alright, so this next one's going to come in at 12.30. Let's actually go ahead and wait till that comes in. Uh, just to see if uh, we have some more issues there. Um, it looks like we do have some garbage here on the floor. But there's uh, there's a garbage bin right there. There's garbage bins in the restrooms. Looks like our janitor actually did uh, pick that up. So he's doing a good job. People are going through uh, security just fine. Other than the fact that the bag scanners are upside down. Looks like people are taking breaks in the, uh, the the seats like they should. I don't think people are really using the ATM. Okay, this is going to be important. Let's see. These people are going to exit. And then are they actually going to go to the baggage claim and wait for their baggage to get delivered? That's going to be pretty important. Looks like uh, the baggage is being delivered. Alright. Alright. Couple of one more suitcase left. Jenner just doing her job over there, which is nice. What the hell is this? Is that somebody stuck? Okay, good. Um, another passenger right there. Come on, man. What are you doing? What are you? What are you? What are you doing? What you doing, buddy? Anyways, you know what? We're fine. The baggage claim does work. Uh, let's see what is gonna happen here. Is the plane actually taking off? Wow, this plane actually took off on time. Right, departure at 2.30, it's departing at 2 o'clock, so that one got uh, filled up pretty quickly. Uh, did we finish researching the pricing? We did. Let's go ahead and change that real quick. Uh, we're going to charge a thousand bucks per one-way usage, and we'll charge 40 bucks for uh, each passenger. So that's going to help us kind of make a little bit of extra cash. And we still have $484,000, so we can definitely do a little bit of expansion in the next episode. But yeah, you know what, that's going to be the end of episode one, guys. Uh, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and message the developers, see what the hell's going on with the bag scanners. And with uh, potentially maybe people getting stuck a little bit more. Looks like they're gone though. Um, but yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys on episode 2. 
And until then, I hope you guys have a great day. Do me a favor. Go watch some of the other series, too. Uh, Motorsport Manager is an absolutely awesome game. If you're into the simulation management style like Sim Airport or Prison Architect, then you guys will probably like Motorsport Manager. I highly suggest you guys check that out. RimWorld Zombieland is another great series that I'm doing right now. I think you guys will probably really like that. Give that a try. And yeah, uh, I'll see you guys later. Hopefully you guys have a great day and a great week and all that good stuff. So uh, take care and I'll see you later. Bye.